You guys are up 17 late third, and it kind of just slipped away. What happened in the fourth and overtime, and how frustrating is it when they, they always seem to play their best against you guys, and they just, there's such a bugaboo against you guys? Yeah, um, we definitely had plenty of chances to win this game. Um, we missed a lot of shots, missed some easy shots at the rim, a lot of wide open looks, but I felt like we kind of settled at times. We could have been more aggressive getting to the paint. We settled for a lot of threes and, um, you know, uh, just a tough, good, good game by them. Uh, give credit to them. But we lost this game for sure. How do you move on from this? You got three more games left on this trip, including one in less than 24 hours. I mean, but this is, seems like it's kind of demoralizing for you guys. Yeah, I mean, it's the league. You know, shit happens. You got to get ready for the next one. I know we got a back to back. We had a tough little sk part of our schedule. We got to have the right mentality to come out tomorrow and find a way to get a win. Can't drop two in a row. Um, regardless of what happened tonight, we got to figure out how we can come out and get a win tomorrow. So I think that's what we're focused on now. We got to put this one behind us. Jalen, uh, Jill mentioned that 20 missed layups, 41 missed threes. I guess when those things are starting to pile up, what can you guys do to just, you know, aside from just make the shots, what can you guys kind of do to maybe change the momentum a little? Uh, I mean, I, I thought we had open looks, and we encouraged our guys to take those looks. But I did think uh, at times we had some numbers. You know, we had an advantage, and uh, we could have got layups, and, you know, we settled for threes. Um, but I felt good about, you know, for the most part, our looks tonight. We just... Missed some easy ones. I missed some layups. Our guys missed some layups, and they made some incredible plays defensively. I um, give credit to them, but you know today wasn't our best game. Jeff, I know you weren't out there for all of it, but what did you see? Steph gets his fifth and goes to the bench. You guys weren't really able to push out on the lead. I think they outscored you by two points during that stretch. Yeah, they did a good job of hiding them, um, and you know we were trying to put them in action. They were doing a good job of hiding them. And I felt like if we would have just played instead of looking around, maybe like we would have been able to attack. But we were trying to put them in certain actions, and I think that kind of hurt us. Um, but for the most part, I thought we were intentional tonight about how we wanted to go about attacking the matchups. And you know, uh, we got a lot of wide open looks. It just came up short. Jalen, when you say you guys settled, was that something they were doing to you guys? Not necessarily. I think we just we had open looks. They were wide open. Um, but as sometimes when you have numbers or you're in a transition situation, rather than taking a three, you just penetrate and go to the basket. You can get fouled or you can get, you know, a layup. And I think we could have got to the free throw line a lot more. Not sure how many free throws we shot, but um, we could have definitely done that a lot more. Uh, and I think we had open looks, but, you know, I would have liked to see us get to the paint a little bit more. And then you guys were so good at home, and the road has been a different story this season. Is it... What is it? What is what? Why the road has been harder for you guys this season? I mean, uh, I think just playing at home, playing in front of your home crowd in your own bed, I think that definitely helps. But, you know, teams on their home floor, they feel just as good as we do. Um, so tonight, uh, we took their best shot and came up short. And then the two little on Steph, can you, I guess, take us through that play and then the emotions of that moment? Just basketball, you know, competing. Um, got a mismatch. Anytime I got a small in that area, I'm going to take advantage. And uh, we were trying to get him in uh, some more actions down the line, but they did a good job of hiding him. And, and he made his pay down the line. And we got to figure out how to attack when we have that type of momentum. You were playing great defense on Steph late in the game, but then you just got that last end one or drive. Like the margins with him are super small. So what was tonight a reminder of, of like the intensity of these games we played with them in the past and just what those margins are when you're playing championship basketball? Yeah, we were, we were switching up our coverages and, you know, at times when, we, when you miss shots and, and you miss layups, it puts pressure on your defense. And um, I felt like we, you know, at times got a little, you know, stagnant on defense in a sense, and we were supposed to be a little bit more aggressive. And they were able to take advantage to some extent. They made some tough shots, though. You know, um, Clay made a big three. And Steph came back down and made another big three. Um, but those are some of the best shooters this game has ever seen. So in the even night, that could happen. And we just got to do a better job. Jalen, I guess the whole when you play this team, the whole thing is be ahead enough to where Steph doesn't turn to Steph and Clay into Clay. And, and 
what happened. How tough is it when you, you know, just a sliver of space is all they need, and, and then you know, I think Clay hit a, hits a thirty footer off a screen. I mean, the shots they hit are hard. How tough is it to kind of watch it and know that it, it's the lead is melting? Yeah, it's tough once you are not making shots on the other end. Um, you know, because that, that gives them confidence when you're missing layups and you're missing wide open shots. That gives them confidence coming down that they could just chuck one up. You know what I mean? Because like, we haven't been hitting our shots, but you know, those shots become a lot different under under pressure when you are making those shots. But you know, tonight we weren't, so they were able to just put them put those shots up with you know with full confidence, and um, they they went in when they needed the most. Presented by your New England Ford dealers. Built for America. Built Ford Proud.